students welcome to today's class phytogeographical regions of india myself j lavanya lecturer in botany vishaka government degree college for women vishakhapatnam so going to our into our topic so what is phytogeography phytogeography is the branch of biogeography that is concerned with the geographic distribution of plant species and their influence on earth's surface so we can see so many plants distributed throughout earth so coming to india india is situated north of equator between 80 degree 4 minutes north to 37 degree 6 minutes north latitude and 68 degree 7 minute to 97 degree 25 minute east longitude longitude so this is uh, india geographical position the india subcontinent has wide variety of climates ranging from the cold and dry of the western himalayas cold and wet of uh, eastern himalayas the region is cold and wet here rajasthan part of punjab and uh, western uttar pradesh these regions are hot and very dry and uh, eastern uttar pradesh here climate is hot and less dry region assam bengal western ghats in maharashtra here the climate is warm and wet west bengal bihar orissa and andhra pradesh here the uh, climate is warm and uh, semi wet so there are different climatic conditions in india india may be conveniently be divided into following nine botanical provinces they are western himalayas eastern himalayas west indian deserts gangetic plains assam central india malabar region the deccan region andamans and lakshadweep islands so these are nine different uh, botanical regions so the phytogeographical uh, regions in india they may be called as botanical zones so these are the nine important zones in india here you can see map showing different floristic regions of india so what are the nine regions we can see in the picture western himalayas eastern himalayas indus plain gangetic plain central india deccan region western coasts uh, coasts of malabar region assam region and finally islands of uh, andaman nicobar so these are different regions so coming to first region western himalayas the western himalayas extend from central region kumyon to northwest region of kashmir there are three zones of vegetation corresponding to three climatic uh, belts there are three zones what are they sub mountain mountain and uh, alpine zones first uh, sub mountain region this zone consists of the himalayas from about 300 meters to 1500 meters altitude above sea level in the region of shivites and uh, adjacent uh, areas the dominant plant species here are shorya robustra which can grow at very high rainfall 1000 uh, mm and uh, dalbergia sisu in uh, riverian regions Eugenia jambolena, Cidrella chuna, 
in moist soils acacia catechu in grassy areas jijipas kerisa in dry beds like uh, different uh, plant species we can uh, see here in this uh, submontane or uh, tropical uh, region pinus longifolia pinus rocks bergai uh, all the these plant species we can found, uh, find uh, in this uh, region next region temperate or mountain zone this zone ranges from 1500 to 3500 meters altitude above sea level here the dominant plant species are pinus excelsa cedrus deodora quercus incana that means oak trees and rhododendron campanulate here in temperate zone we can see all these plants alpine zone it is present above the temperate zone this zone is uh, at about 3500 meters altitude at which the high, height of plant is uh, um, greatly reduced here in uh, alpine region uh, temperature is very less plant vegetation is reduced oxygen level is less so what are the important plant species here they are primula delphinium polygonum and uh, saxifraga next uh, region eastern himalayas the eastern himalayas consists of sikkim and to the east up to nfa region and uh, this region can be divided into three zones according to their altitude sub mountain region temperate zone alpine zone sub mountain region or tropical region this zone is typically tropical with dense forests of shoria robustra here uh, warm and humid conditions are present it extends from the plains at the foot of the hill ra- ranges to about 800 meters altitude the dominant plant species are dalbergia sisu acacia catechu anthocephalus kadamba albergia prosera michaelia champaka in uh, eastern himalayas in this tropical uh, zone evergreen forests of dillinia indica michaelia champaka cinnamomum are very common next zone is uh, temperate zone next zone is temperate zone this zone ranges between 800 to 3800 meters altitude the dominant plant species are quercus michaelia juniperus pcia and choga so we can find all these plant species in a temperate zone of eastern himalayas so important coniferous uh, of this region are pisia abies larix juniperus choga species coming to alpine road zone this zone is at above 3800 meters altitude present above the temperate zone shrubby growth of juniperus and rhododendron are found in uh, grassy areas of this uh, region eastern himalayas vegetation is uh, considered to be one of the richest vegetation units in the world so in this picture we can compare the western himalayas on one side and eastern himalayas at one side so up to 2 uh, um, 1500 1800 meters 
and above that region so first tropical uh, and subtropical region above that temperate region above that alpine zone different uh, plant species uh, in a uh, eastern uh, himalayas and uh, western himalayas we can observe in this uh, picture third region the west indian deserts part of punjab rajasthan kutch delhi and part of gujarat comprise uh, this uh, vegetational province the climate here is very hot and dry in summer and cold in winter rainfall is low usually less than 70 cm the shrubby species of the zone are xeric such as acacia arabica uh, prosopis spicigera caparis epilla and gigipus uh, numularia the gangetic plain fourth region is gangetic plain this is one of the most fertile uh, tract of land extending from the western uttar pradesh to bihar and bengal dalbergia species acacia species grow along the river bank the common trees are beautia monosperma termilaria arjuna maduka indica and emblica officinalis with uh, shrubby growth of uh, gigipers here common crop plants also uh, present like wheat barley maize sorghum moong kajanas kajan sugarcane potato brassica all these uh, species uh, we can see in uh, crop plants of uh, gangetic plain assam this botanical province receives the heaviest rainfall chirapunji uh, this place is present in assam region where we can observe uh, rainfall up to 1000 cm the important forest trees of assam are the evergreen tall uh, diptrocarpus macrocarpus mycelia champaka shoria robustra and ardocarpus uh, chaplasha so this is about the assam region coming to the central india which comprises of madhya pradesh part of orissa and gujarat the forest vegetation is commonly dominated by diospyros uh, melanoxylon beautia monosperma terminalia tomentosa and tectona grandis so in this uh, central india it is at altitude of 500 to 700 uh, meters from the sea level the rainfall is uh, 100 to 170 cm coming to malabar region this region comprises of the western coasts of india extending from gujarat in uh, uh, the north to kanyakumari in the south the region receives heavy rainfall there are tropical moist evergreen forests mixed deciduous forests tro- subtropical or temperate evergreen forests the mangrove forests so different types of uh, uh, forests we can uh, see in this uh, region tropical uh, um, forests are present at uh, 300 meters altitude mixed deciduous forests they are found at the altitude up to 1600 meters temperate evergreen forests they occur above 1200 meters altitude um, mangrove vegetation is also here we can see uh, where uh, near the um, coast area
The dominant plant species are Diptrocarpus indicus, Cidrelia chuna, Tectona grandis, Dalbergia latifolia, Michaelia nelegrica, and bamboos like uh, Dendrocalamus fructus. So, different uh, plant species we can observe in this region. Uh, the west coast of uh, Malabar region, this is very high rainfall. The, in the coastal region, mangrove plants grow luxuriantly. Next, uh, the Deccan region. The region is comparatively drier with uh, uh, rainfall of about uh, 100 centimeters. So here, uh, the climate is uh, dry. The common plant species are Tectona grandis, Hardwickia bineta, Santalum album, Caparis, Philanthus, and Boraces, Flabellifer. So, this type of plants we can see in this uh, region. Coming to Andamans, the important plant species of the Andaman groups of islands are Rhizophora. So, Rhizophora means mangrove plants because these are islands. We can see uh, Rhizophora like uh, mangrove plants at uh, um, uh, coastal areas. In addition to these, Mimojobs, Calophyllum, Diptrocarpus, uh, Lagostomia, Terminalia, like uh, plants also uh, grow in this uh, uh, region. In Andaman Islands, um, forests are uh, different types, mostly tropical. Uh, moist evergreen where diptrocarpus canarium like uh, plant uh, plants we can find in a tropical semi evergreen uh, forest diptrocarpus stercularia albegia bombax myristica calophyllum like plants are dominant in tropical deciduous uh, forest pterocarpus Terminalia, Muraya, Carnarium like uh, plants are seen. So this is about the uh, vegetation in uh, Andaman Islands. So this is about uh, phytogeographical regions of India. Thank you.